Today we're going to be going over a wish list of the top 5 Marvel properties that we would love to see as a Netflix show, you know, when they reconsider after the Defenders. Number 5 is She-Hulk. Now this one would be cool because like Daredevil, she has a real life. That's always been an issue for the Hulk, he's always in the run, always destroying things, and his power levels are infinite. But that's what makes him very difficult to write for, which is why the Hulk movies have never been that stellar, and the cartoon show is all about him being smarter and having a team around him. So if they were going to go the live action route, why don't they make a show about his cousin, Jennifer Walters? She was given her powers through a blood transfusion and has retained her intelligence and emotional control. Now she does get stronger the matter she gets, but she doesn't have the blind rage like the Hulk does, which severely limits the possibilities of her growing matter. As for her day job, she is a lawyer like Matt Murdock, but unlike Matt Murdock, she can't hide her identity because in the later comics, she's permanently green. So you could run with the same ideas as Daredevil, but as a Hulk that can't hide. Number 4 is Moon Knight, a character with multiple personalities. There is a lot you can do with this because bare bones, he's basically Marvel's answer to Batman, but when you dive into his character, you learn that there is so much more. He's a highly capable superhero detective and he manages to do all of this with an ancient Egyptian god in his head. This has brought us multiple runs where he has dealt with these personalities differently, but my favorite run is where he spent his time talking to Wolverine, Captain America, and Spider-Man because they each represented a different part of the Egyptian god's personalities that were located inside of him. Just imagine a series where Moon Knight is trying to learn to cope with all of this and other Netflix heroes are guiding him, like Daredevil, Iron Fist, and Punisher. That would be epic. Number 3, speaking of the Punisher, that would be number 3. Now at this point I'm sure most of you are aware that he is officially joining Daredevil in Season 2. But that is not a Punisher centric show, and that's what we want. We could very easily do something like the 2014 run for the Punisher where he was in LA trying to stop a cartel while avoiding the police. The police were initially trying to capture him, but eventually they figured out that the Punisher exists for a reason and it's to do what they can't do. He has always been a very odd anti-hero, and giving him a show all about the proper police dealing with him could make for a very interesting cop drama. Number 2 is a show about the Spider-Verse. Now this one is where we're going to get a bit crazier with our dreams. This is our wish list after all. We've got more than enough stuff about Peter Parker's Spider-Man, but what about the entire Spider-Verse? You could easily do a 13 episode series in which Peter Parker is traveling the multiverse, learning about all of the different Spider-Men and building an army. Each episode could take place on one of the other worlds where he teams up with one of the other versions of himself and then he stops their villain and then they go to the next world. The big season finale could be the big Morlun battle. And number one is Old Man Logan. Now I know that Fox has Wolverine, but by the time that Netflix is going to be picking up some new superheroes, maybe we'll have him back. And what else would be a perfect way to explain why Logan is an old man in the all new all different Marvel? Why not make a show chronicling the adventures of Old Man Logan and Old Hawkeye as they travel across in a world where the supervillains have won? If the all new all different Marvel actually is using the real Old Man Logan and not some version to bring back the classic Logan, then this would be the perfect way to get people caught up to date with their new favorite pal. And those are our top 5 Netflix shows that we would love to see, but what are your favorite ideas for Netflix shows? Let's keep this list to Marvel, so let me know in the comments down below what Marvel shows you would love to see, because we've got another wish list for our DC shows. I'm Betty for CTV, and I'll see you guys next time right here.